Hi everybody, Steve from Steve's Makerspace and we are in P5JS. In this video, we're going to turn something that is a static image into an animated image. So right now I've got this, which if I hit play, it just does that. But I want it instead to do this. Usually I eliminate the draw function and put everything into setup so that it draws something quickly. Uh, the draw function actually takes time just going through the draw function. But of course you might want to see that animation, especially if you're doing something on FX hash. A lot of the projects are animated. Some of the collectors really like to see that. I created this static flow field in a video that I did a little while back. I'll leave a link to that video and the original code in the video description. So what we're going to do is take this project that I've already got and convert it into an animated project. So first I'll do a file duplicate and we'll save that. So I need to get all the different parts of this project to go through the draw function instead of all going through the setup function. So first let's add a draw function down here. So what we need in the draw function are different steps for the animation. We're going to call different functions. And so this whole thing that I've got in setup, I'm going to break it up into different steps, different functions. So some things I can leave in setup, like creating the canvas and doing the background, that would be okay. But let's say after I do the background, I want the circle uh, to be a separate step. And then I think we could have all of this uh, be part of that step as well. Let's pull all that out and we'll make a new function and we'll just call it step one and we'll paste all of that in here. And now we're going to be calling step one in the draw. Uh, this is all going to change later. Uh, right now, let's just get everything going through the draw function, but it's not going to animate just yet. We're just going to separate everything out into different functions. So the next step is this whole flow field. Let's just pull all of this out, control X, and then we'll do another step uh, function. And let's call it uh, make flow or something like that. Uh, I could call it step two, I suppose. So that'll be the make flow. And then we'll have the paper texture, uh, both of these. Let's pull those out and we'll put those here. And I don't need that. All right, so we've got draw, step one, make flow, paper texture, paper texture. And let me save that and see if it does the same thing it was doing before. It's still not gonna be animated. Okay, and it's redoing it uh, constantly, so I need to stop that. I forgot to make a counter. Uh, so what I want at the end of this is to have a no loop, because I don't want it to loop forever. Let's just see what that does if I just put no loop at the end. There we go. Now we're getting the same thing we were getting before, uh, not animated yet. So now let's add a counter to this. So in the setup, I'll say counter equals zero. And then let's say uh, counter, if counter, let's say if counter equals one, then we'll do step one. If counter equals two, let's just copy this. And we'll say two. Then we'll do this one and I'll copy this again. And if counter, whoops, where did that come from? If counter equals three, we're gonna put a three there. And then if counter equals four, we'll do this one, whoops. Uh, so this, we'll change this to three, we'll change that to four. And then we're gonna have a counter plus plus and let's move this no loop up to here so that the no loop happens after we do this step. 
Uh, so let's see what happens now. Let's do a save. There we go. So we've got some animation already. Uh, it's doing it in these steps. We could slow this whole thing down a little bit by adding a simple loop in here. Let me stop that. And we'll say uh, for i equals zero, i, i less than uh, 3,000, i plus plus. And it's not actually going to do anything. It's just going to count to 3,000. But that should slow things down a little bit. So I actually have to make this quite large in order for it to really slow down a lot. All right, but let's say we want those flow fields to also be animated. We want to slow that down. So right now the whole flow field is going from top left, and it starts at the top left, and it draws some segments. It goes uh, 10 line segments. So it does one curve that does 10 line segments at the very top left. And then it moves over one space, and it does another curve that does 10 line segments uh, at the next space over. But if we want to animate this, we need all of those first segments all across the screen drawn first, and then all of the second segments all across the screen drawn second. So we're going to have to change this up First, we need to create an array. And so this make flow, I think what we want is call it make array instead. And we'll say flow array equals, so we'll start the array, and we're going to be putting stuff into this array. Let's see, what are we going to put in? And we're going to go to this point right here. This is going to be the end of this function. And then we're going to have a separate function for the segment drawing. Let's call this part function make segments. I need the ends of these. Let's add that. Let me see. This goes to that one. So I need one more here. And then this. I don't need, I think, two of these. So this should go with that, yes. And let's tidy the code. There we go, we got make segments, and we've got the make array. So the flow array, we're going to be putting stuff into this flow array. So we're gonna be putting in flow array dot push x and y and then we also want to put in the color of that line we're gonna to have to change this up a little bit because i've got the color uh being calculated all in here i'm going to need to separate all this out so let's say i'm going to have this be h1 and this be uh saturation one that's hue saturation brightness this will be b1 and we'll take out this and this and this, and we need to change these into semicolons instead of commas. And now I can put H1, S1, B1 into the array. So five items for each spot on the canvas. Now I could be using object-oriented programming. If you think that's a better method, I'll recommend Dan Schiffman's object-oriented programming video for that. Here when we made segments, I used K as the counter for the segments, starting with 10 going down to zero. And I did it backwards because I was using the stroke weight and I wanted to have a large stroke weight to start that would taper off into a small stroke weight for the line segment. Uh, so we still want to have K, but we're not going to have this loop like this. Let's go back to the draw. Uh, we're going to make array instead of make flow. So let's change this. And then after make array, uh, if counter equals three, then we're going to 
Then we're going to make segments. And now I need to change this to step four and five. So here K is 10. Let's start in step one with saying that K equals 10. Then in each step of this draw function, besides doing counter plus plus, we could do K minus minus. So that'll take the place of this and we could pull that out. I don't need that there. But what we do need instead of that for loop is we need to go through the loop of the array. So the for loop I just took out, I'm gonna add back in a different for loop. Uh, that is gonna be i equals zero, and we're gonna go the length of the array. So, so we wanna continue as long as i is less than flow array, whoops, array dot length. And we're going to do uh, i plus equal 5, because there's 5 items in each uh, part of the array. And then we need to pull stuff out of the array. So we're pulling out the x, and that's going to be flow array i. And then y is going to be flow array i plus 1. Copy that down, and we'll add a one. And then we're gonna have, let's just copy all of that. And we'll say this, this, and this. And we're gonna say that hue one, saturation one, and brightness one equals flow array i plus two, plus three, and plus four. Then stroke, is going to be h1, s1, whoops, b1. Uh, I believe I was using 200 for the alpha. And the x and the y, okay, we've got that. At the end here, we get a new x and a new y. And we are going to have to replace in the array uh, this new x and new y. So we use the splice function for that. So we do flow array dot splice uh, at position i. We're going to replace two items, and those two items are going to be x and y because we've got the new x and new y right here. Whew. Okay. So that's a lot. The other thing we need to do, so this isn't quite gonna work yet because we've still got the counter going from one to the next. It's just adding. And so it's gonna wind up doing the make array and then it's only gonna do the make segments once with that counter and then it's gonna move on to the paper texture. But we want this to repeat. Let me think about this. Okay, let's just start it. Uh, if counter is less than two or something, then we'll do the counter. No, actually, this has got to be less than three. So we're doing counter less than three or k is less than one. The reason we're doing this is we want to the counter to stop at this point right here when it's making segments because we don't want it to move on to this step we want it to stay doing this step repeatedly while it's doing those line segments while it's counting from k equals 10 down to k equals 1. I hope that makes sense uh, let me do a save as and let's see if it actually worked and we have an error. Let's see what it is. K is not defined in 33. So we're doing this. Let's just move this K. Uh, we'll pull it out of here and put it into setup instead. Let's try again. 
There. Yes. There we go. Yes. That was a little slow. Let's uh let's speed it up. I'll take out one of these zeros. There we go. Very nice. So that's it. I've got the flow fields for YouTube animated code. A link to this will be in the video description. I hope this helped. If you like this video, you can give it a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Steve's Makerspace.